Money is something that we all think about, and it is important that we do. Firstly, the good news is that IFLA is financially stable, but we need to plan for the future. In recent years, the business models for all library associations, including IFLA, has been disrupted. Conferences and membership are two key in income streams for many associations, and these streams have been impacted even before COVID-19. As chair of both the Professional Committee and Congress Advisory Committee, I'm excited about the changes currently underway to rethink our conference business model. But we will need to do more. I want to continue working to develop new business models for IFLA, and this needs to be a priority. The Governing Board needs to work with IFLA Secretary General and the staff to look at the services delivered, our revenue streams, consider options and prioritise strategies. We need to develop a risk plan and identify mitigation strategies. Financial sustainability is something we all face in our own organisations, particularly as we seek to introduce new services which will make a difference. If we can't fund them ourselves, we turn to partners, and that is something we all do so well. We are successful and trusted collaborators. Rather than leaning on our members through increased fees, I would encourage the board to look outside IFLA for new partners who aims and values match our own. Let's all activate the goodwill about libraries on every continent to generate more money, more people and a stronger voice in the support of the things we believe are important. I am the current IFLA treasurer. I have the background having studied in Athens Economic and Business University but also a long experience in finance, in fundraising, offering with my knowledge significant successful results in the institutions I have worked in. In my career, many institutions profited more from my finance knowledge. If as an example, together with Secretary General and HQ, we made it. Managing the solid and sustainable financial situation of IFLA at this moment, presenting a surplus and outcome of a hard work in these high risk times. As President, I will take my responsibility supporting the next uh, Treasurer. I have the right skills and work experience to handle risk management and of course I will I try to keep the cost down, maximizing IFLAS corporate supporters, grants, donations, publishing sales, strengthening even more IFLAS co cooperation with Siegel, reducing travel expenses, securing the upholding general reserves and more, diversify services, develop more income, developing a cost containment strategy, a comprehensive research to cultivate unknown donors. Last but not least, I will start a IFLA campaign increasing drastically the next years the number of IFLA members of all kinds of, of libraries. I am very happy that during my term, IFLA membership fees have been frozen for this year. It is not a coincidence that both Christine, current president, and Barbara, current president-elect, have been served as IFLA treasurers before getting elected. Also, Donna Sida, as current treasurer, I have an asset in the best financial management guaranteeing the financial sustainability of IFLA. As president, I will use my business degree and my experience during my four years on the IFLA Governing Board to work together with the Secretary General, the Governing Board, and the IFLA Finance staff to be financial stewards and protect the finances of the Association. I will ensure a strong financial base for IFLA with innovative fundraising strategies supported by powerful networks to expand sources of funding beyond our current stakeholders. My strong experience in finances, fundraising and risk management comes from my bachelor's degree in business and from leading large associations like ALA and managing library services at various types of libraries. This experience has equipped me with skills for identifying, assessing, and proactively controlling potential threats to an organization's capital and earnings on an ongoing basis while managing library services and leading library associations. I am also bringing my experience as a member of the ALA Finance and Audit Committee of the ALA Executive Board, working with the Budget and Analysis Review Committee and the Endowment Trustees, who hold, invest, reinvest, and disburse endowment funds. Years managing library personnel in related financial aspects, public, private grants, donations, and complex budget lines, including operating costs. 
strategizing fundraising aiming to raise millions for ALA and libraries in New York is an exciting and rewarding process. I am looking forward to raising funds for IFLA and ensuring IFLA's financial sustainability.